Hey tennis fans, we're here at the Texas Tennis Open with former world number one Yelena Yankovic. Thank you so much for joining us Thank and you. welcome to Texas. <laughs> this is your first time in Dallas, right? Yes, it is. How are you liking Texas so far? Uh, I'm enjoying my time here in, uh, in Dallas and uh, it's been quite warm. Yes, I was going to um, ask, how or do you like the heat or does that bother you? I do like the heat because I used to train in Florida, so okay. I kind of I'm used to these kind of yeah. conditions and uh, you know, I try my best to stay hydrated and, and you know comfortable in this kind of condition. You're coming here after a few tough first round losses, but you've also had some rough draws. You had Kim Kleisters and then Serena, you had a heartbreaker in Cincy. Uh, do you feel like you've just been a little bit unlucky? Is that tough when you just feel like you keep drawing tough first rounds? Yeah, that's the way it is. Uh, those are the things that I cannot control and um, you know, I just have to keep working hard and uh, believing in myself. I started working with some new people and um, my goal is um, you know, to improve certain things. And, you know, and as well, I've been ma making some changes, so obviously for certain things for me to feel comfortable and, and do them well in, in the matches is going to take time and obviously, you know, having tough draws, but even with the tough draws I had, you know, a lot of chances and there was a lot of matches I should have won and, and done better, but, um, you know, the confidence is uh, something that I'm lacking a little bit right now, but, you know, with hard work and, and belief. It's gonna come. Absolutely. Do you have a new coach with you here? Yeah, he's here. I'm a fitness coach, so I'm, I'm working hard and trying to, you know, get in shape and, and, you know, and as well, you know, get my game back together. Absolutely. Being 34 in the world is no easy feat. I noticed last week you were 18, but because you were at the top, you have to, I know, deal with a lot of questions about the state of your game and how you're gonna get back to number one. Is that tough to deal with, or does it fire you up? Yes, um, it's you know difficult. I, I've spent a lot of uh, years in, inside the top ten and the top five. I've been number one, and um, to be honest, I'm used to you know being you know one of the top players. And even though in the moment I'm you know my ranking dropped because I, I was defending uh, finals in Cincinnati, so I went down from 18 to, to 34. And um, you know that's uh, it's been so long since I've been in this ranking, but um, I don't try to you know I don't want to think about that. I just um, you know ranking is not important for me right now. It's important for me to to find my game and and just play good tennis. And if I'm able to do that, you know ranking is gonna mm -hmm. you know absolutely uh, get back there. U.S. Open coming up. Do you let yourself? Obviously, there's a lot of anticipation there, but do you let yourself look forward, or do you kind of stay in the zone here? Uh, I'm actually very much looking forward to playing the U.S. Open. It's my favorite Grand Slam, and um, I have uh, great memories of playing there. Especially, I played finals against Serena in 2008. So um, I, I like, you know, those courts. I like the atmosphere. So hopefully, you know, I can, I can do well. It's going to be my goal. All right. When you're not on the court, what do you do to keep your mind off of tennis? Uh, depends where I am. I, I like to go shopping. I like to I like to read. I like to. Are you reading anything good right now? I'm reading so, uh, one book in Serbian. Okay. Um, you know, so <laughs> I probably would have no idea. <laughs> yeah, a lot of times, you know, because I travel so much and I'm away from home, I, I feel nostalgic. So I. Like, yeah. I want to as well, you know, just read in my own language so that I don't forget. <laughs> I <don't speak laughs> Understandable. <in> <laughs> um, speaking of home, I, I read about your amazing house in California. Is it finished? Finished now? Uh, waiting for furniture. It's, okay. Uh, because it's a lot of things have been ordered uh, from Italy. Okay. So uh, it's done by measurements and you know special yeah, specs. Big and job. <laughs> it's a big job. So it's. Uh, it's been a long process mm -hmm. and it's it's uh, it's not you know easy right. to do a house like that and but I, I was not in a in a hurry so I preferred you know to just do everything right. you know slowly but in a good way then just mm -hmm. finish it fast right. and then right. later on you know make a lot of changes and then I am not gonna like it so right. anyway I'm not uh, I'm now traveling and. <laughs> I'm playing, I'm competing, right. so, you know, hopefully in off-season I, I will be able to, you know, stay yeah. there. Is it tough? I know the house hasn't been ready thus far, but how hard is it to know you have, you know, an amazing home or, you know, home back in Serbia, but to be on the road all year long? 
That's a tough part because that's uh, I chose to play, you know, tennis and be a professional <laughs> tennis player. And that's my job to, to yeah. travel around and compete around the world. And it's not easy. Yeah, I, it's very tough to be sleeping in hotels every week and you know changing packing and unpacking and changing climates <laughs> and foods and all kinds of things. But that's the way it is. But our careers are you know quite short. So, um, you know, when I finish my career, I'll have okay. time to, to relax. sleep in my own bed <laughs> and stay in my, in, in, yeah. you know, whatever home I'm, you know, going to be. If you weren't a professional tennis player, what do you think you'd be doing? Uh, I don't know. I, I probably, I like something that, uh, you know, show business. Um, I wanted to, you know, uh, have a acting license okay. as well, you know, maybe like hosting something. Mm -hmm. And as well, uh, something with fashion. I had uh, three fashion shows in, in Serbia. I had my own like limited um, fashion line. So like different things that it's not, you know, it's, uh, you know, until now all of those things were kind of like my hobbies, you know, outside, yeah. you know, just getting my yeah. mind off of tennis and doing something, you know, fun that I find, you know, enjoyable. So we'll see, you know, what yeah. I will do when I finish. You'll have lots of time, I'm sure, to figure it out. Elena, best of luck in the Thank rest you. of the tournament. Thanks for taking Thank some you. time with us.